All right, I got a lot of the same questions and comments on that last video, so I'm gonna try to address a lot of these questions. So a cottage food means that it is made in your home kitchen and it's being sold. So pickles are not an approved cottage food in the state of California, meaning you can't just make pickles in your home kitchen and sell them. This is the case in many other states as well. However, each state has different cottage laws and different foods that are approved and not approved uh, cottage foods in each state. Even in states where pickles and canned foods are potentially an approved cottage food, there are some other restrictions and regulations that might go along with that. So yes, they could be an approved cottage food, but you also might have to follow additional regulations. What's approved cottage food and what's not approved cottage food is based on food safety. So uh, low risk items like baked items, cookies, things like that are typically approved cottage foods because they're a low risk item. Whereas when you get into canned foods, when you get into foods that are high water activity, low acid, those are higher risk foods. So a lot of times in many states, these are not approved cottage foods and they have to be made in a commercial manufacturing facility. So in the state of California, this is the case with pickles. They need to be made in a commercial manufacturing facility that has a cannery license. There are some other additional regulations such as sending in your different formulations for testing to ensure that the pH is low enough. That is one thing uh, people were commenting a lot about on that last video too, saying pickles are low risk. Yes, they are low risk if they are formulated properly. So that's where the risk comes in. If it's not formulated properly and the pH isn't low enough, you're not sending it in for testing to even know what, where the pH is at. Yes, you're adding vinegar, um, you're adding acidic ingredients, but you're also adding things like vegetables, which aren't acidic. So that formulation, uh, the finished product has to have a low enough pH. So yes, if formulated properly, if packaged properly, they can be a low risk food item. The risk is when these are not packaged properly, are not formulated properly, then they can pose a food safety risk to consumers. Another thing to be aware of is even if a food isn't approved cottage food in a certain state, that doesn't necessarily mean that it can be shipped across state lines. You can find this info on a lot of university extension services websites, so please look it up if you are planning on starting a food business. But this is from the U of M, can cottage food products cross state borders? So acid and acidified canned foods, such as pickles, cannot cross state borders due to federal restrictions on interstate movement of these foods. Again, that's cottage foods. So if there is a state that approves pickles as a cottage food, it still cannot be shipped across state lines. Unless, of course, you're producing it at a commercial manufacturing facility, then it's no longer a cottage food. Lower risk cottage foods, such as baked items, dried items, low water activity items, can cross state borders if both states' laws are followed. If you're planning on starting a food business, start with the university extension services in your area and just make sure that you know the regulations. You have to know these things before selling it. Otherwise, you're putting consumer's health at risk and you're putting yourself at risk too.